Hi fellow crafters! This weekend Stampin' Up! held their on-stage event, which is sort of like a Stampin' Up! convention. Hundreds of demonstrators gathered together to pour over the new annual catalog, to create some projects using some of the new products, and just to make a whole bunch of fun new friends to hang out with now that the event is over. I think one of the most fun parts about on stage is swapping project ideas with other demonstrators. Want to see the project card that I swapped with everyone? If this is the first time you're visiting my YouTube channel, hi, I'm Terry from NutsAboutStamping.com. I love sharing techniques and project ideas for rubber stamping, paper crafting, and scrapbooking with you each week. Be sure to hit that red subscribe button and the bell beside it so that you'll be the first to be notified when my next video goes live. Speaking of videos, be sure to watch all the way through this video for my bonus tips and design ideas. And if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator yet and you might like to purchase some of the products I use to make this card, I will link to my online stores in the description box under this video. Now, I can't wait to show you what I created to swap with everyone at OnStage. My phrase comes from the Notes of Nature stamp set. I love the phrases and images in this set, and I sure hope it doesn't retire at the end of April when the mini catalog retirement announcement comes out. I have a small strip of basic white, and I'm going to ink up the phrase that says, today is all about you, happy birthday, and I'm going to stamp it down using Knight of Navy ink. All right, there's my phrase. I'm gonna slide it out of the way, and now I'm going to be using my Layered Floral 3D embossing folder. I've had so much fun lately using this embossing folder, so I decided to use it for my swap card idea. And I'm going to use this folder two ways this week. So the first way is to emboss an entire sheet of six, it's almost six by six, of basic white. So I'm going to emboss this larger piece first. And then while I'm over at my stamp and cut and emboss machine, I've got a card layer size basic white piece of cardstock that I will emboss as well. Back in a moment. All right, here are my two pieces that I've embossed. The smaller piece I am going to leave just as is as a layer for the front of my card. So we'll use that in a little bit. This layer, however, I want to add a touch of color to. So I've got a quite a nasty looking uh, scrap piece of my grid paper and I'm gonna use it still some more. And I'm going to use my Daffodil Delight ink and my small blending brush and I'm going to apply ink only to the larger flowers that you can see on this embossed layer. So I'll go ahead and I'll ink up the larger flowers and then I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, there we go. You can see that I have colored one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the flowers using Daffodil Delight. Now what you want to do is you want to take your paper snip scissors and you want to cut around each one of these flowers. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to cut around one, but then we'll talk about what you're going to do with all of them in a minute. All right, here I've got one of the flowers cut out and I will say it is super simple to cut these flowers out even though it's fussy cutting because they're raised up. So it's really quick and easy to cut around and not so hard on the eyes. So I'm gonna slide this out of the way and we're going to work on the card base, which is going to be Knight of Navy. And then to that, I want to add this plain layer that I have embossed using the layered florals embossing folder. But before I do that, I have some of this Knight of Navy and gold ribbon and what I want to do is put a strip of ribbon around just the basic white layer before I adhere it down to my card base. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to use some tear and tape adhesive on the back and that'll help hold this ribbon in place. 
So back in a moment. All right, I've got my ribbon adhered to the back, but what I thought I would do is just pop back in quickly and say that I'm going to use my multi-purpose liquid glue for the rest of this layer and then adhere it down to my card front. Now the next thing I want to do is bring in my phrase and I'm going to adhere it down to the ribbon on the front of this card. Okay, it's coming along nicely. Would you like to see another card idea using this embossing folder? Well, if you would, then watch this video next. Now, I've got this flower and I'm going to put a couple of Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of it. Peel off the protective coating. I call it the tails. And then I am going to tuck this flower slightly underneath the ribbon, but also slightly on top of the phrase to create a decorative element for the front of my card. So now let's talk embellishments. Now, because I want the focal feature of the card to be the flower, I don't want a lot of competing embellishments. So I've decided on my iridescent basic pearls jewels, and I'm just going to add one simple jewel down in the bottom left corner of my phrase. And there we go, my card is done. Now let me ask you this, what would you put on the inside of the card knowing what the outside looks like? I invite you to leave me a comment in the description box under this video and let me know how you would decorate the inside of this card. If you would like a complete listing of the supplies that I used and the measurements for the layers, I will link to my blog article in the description box under this video. You can link over there and you can get all the information you need so that you can make this card at home. Now, by the time you're watching this video, I will have already swapped out this card with many other Stampin' Up! demonstrators. Would you like to receive a card like this one? I would love to get your feedback on my idea. I'm Terry. I am nuts about stamping. I'll see you at the next video. Bye for now.